The U.S. Ambassador to Ghana, Stephanie Sullivan, wants Ghana to step up efforts at fighting corruption and ensuring persons caught indulging in the practice face severe sanctions. She noted Ghana already has a patroller of laws but needs strict enforcement to ensure compliance. Speaking at a forum on the cost of corruption in Ghana, deliberations for remedy, U.S. Ambassador Stefani Sullivan made a strong case for the impunity to end. Corruption is not a victimless crime, but in fact is stealing directly from the pockets of citizens. Essentially, the most meaningful and sustainable efforts against corruption will be the implementation of Ghanaian solutions to Ghanaian challenges without fear or favor. For his part, the Netherlands ambassador, Ron Stryker, noted perception of corruption in Ghana has the potential to affect investor confidence. You can organize easily 10 GRPC missions to the Netherlands to promote investment and trade uh, in Ghana, but um, if those companies hear about uh, uh, corruption practices going on in that particular country, then they simply will not come, or at least they will be very reluctant to do so. The British High Commissioner, Ian Walker, said there would be no significant progress when all that is done is to talk about it. It doesn't get addressed by talking about it. It gets addressed by a clear diagnosis of what the problem is and a direct action that addresses the problem that sits underneath it. Executive Secretary of COPEC, Duncan Amwa, who was the first to petition the Office of the Special Prosecutor over the rot at Bost, expressed disappointment not...